COVID-19. More than 37% of the population of Hungary has been vaccinated, which is the highest in the European Union. Our government has been making efforts to save lives, secure livelihoods, and keep the economy afloat, indeed a challenging balance to maintain. We inherited a challenging economic situation. When we came into office slightly over two and a half years ago, all our macroeconomic indicators were pointing in the wrong direction. Global contraction and corona restrictions made the situation even more challenging. However, we have succeeded in stabilizing the situation. Our rupee, which is our currency, has stabilized. Forex reserves have gone up despite huge debt servicing that we had to undertake. You know, we inherited a mm -hmm. resource gap of about $20 billion. Mm -hmm. uh, remittances have been very encouraging in the first 10 months of this fiscal year. Mm. Our current, today, we have recorded a current account surplus. Mm -hmm. Huge investments have taken place in our textile sector which is the backbone of our large-scale manufacturing. Our construction industry is on the move, and we've recorded the highest ever sales of cement ever. Mm -hmm. Car sales, motorcycle sales are up. Tractor sales have gone up. And we are right now harvesting our wheat crop, and the estimates are that we are heading for a bumper wheat crop this year. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, we will not have to import any wheat this year. Mm -hmm. In the next two years, we intend to focus on growth, growth of our economy, to address the issue of unemployment and alleviate poverty. The biggest challenge we are facing today as a government is keeping the prices of essential food items under check. That's the challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By design, Foreign Minister, we are shifting our focus from geopolitics to geoeconomics. Our focus is on economic security. The three central pillars of our economic security paradigm include peace, regional connectivity, and development partnerships. Our economic diplomacy goals include the promotion of trade, financial inflows, investments, remittances, tourism, and transfer of technology. To improve the business climate we are promoting ease of doing business, and our ranking in the last two years has improved by 39 points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have further liberalized our investment policy for the benefit of our investors. Nine special economic zones are in different stages of development under CPEC and are open for investment from other countries, from Hungary. It's not China-Pakistan specific. Mm -hmm. We have liberalized our visa regime, introduced e-visa policy to facilitate mm -hmm. travel of businessmen and tourists. In line with the Prime Minister's vision, I introduced a robust economic diplomacy initiative last year. Under this, I have consistently sought to strengthen Pakistan's economic diplomacy footprint. Today, economic diplomacy is an important component of our foreign policy. 
Over the last year, I have been personally engaged with, with each of our missions across the world, crafting new avenues for economic partnerships between Pakistan and the rest of the world. In fact, today's meeting is a direct outcome of such an effort, the interaction that we had right. through Zoom. So technology is working. <clears throat> right. But it's better to be personal. <laughs> yeah, it's better this way. Yeah. As Foreign Minister graciously accepted my invitation, extended during that uh, meeting, uh, in which we launched Hungry Pakistan Trade and Economic Window. And the visit of this delegation is an outcome of that interaction. I'm very hopeful that your initiative to bring a high-level business delegation will mark the beginning of a new era in our trade and economic relations. I do hope that a similar Pakistani business delegation could visit Hungary soon. I'm pleased today that Pakistan's leading business persons are meeting Hungary's top executives for business matchmaking. I appreciate you all for being here and for taking this opportunity to exchange on our economic development, to have an exchange on our economic development goals. I encourage you to take advantage of this meeting to keep regular interactions, to explore new areas of collaboration. I hope the associations that are made today will flourish and yield concrete dividends. Both Pakistan and Hungary occupy strategic location in the fast developing Eurasian cooperation and increasing interdependence, especially in trade and technology transfer. While Hungary is part of Europe provides international quality technology at much affordable rates, Pakistan and its surroundings offer a huge market for Hungarian companies to expand their businesses. We recognize that over the decades, Hungary has made notable achievements in diverse fields, including agriculture and environmental industry, urban development uh, solutions, mechanical and electronic engineering, higher education, health, culture, music and sports. All these are high priorities. اے نور خدا نور بصیرت کی طلب ہے رمضان کا صدقہ تیری رحمت کی طلب ہے مخفی ہیں اسی ماہ میں رحمت کے قرینے گرداب سے نکلے ہوئے بخشش کے سفر گویا ہیں تیرے عشق میں ہم سب برابر مجلس کو تو گلدستہ فردوس بنا دے رندوں کو سنائے شہل اولاق پلا دے تو شم قلم کو ید بیزائی عطا کر بچوں کو تو افطار میں تسلیم عطا کر رمضان مبارک کی خصوصی نشریات رمضان میں بول صرف بول انٹرٹینمنٹ پر رمضان میں بول